Hello, good people. Today's topic is a topic you don't want to miss. God's servant, Apostle Joshua Sermon, will be dissecting identity. In our world today, young people, even the old, don't actually discover who they really are. Identity, who are you? Do you really know who you are? Can you answer that question? Who are you? Today, Apostle Joshua Sermon will be educating our mind, our spirit, our soul and body concerning this identity. You need to know who you are. You need to know who you are is a very, very powerful and a very, very interesting topic. Please, I beg you, don't go anywhere. Listen to God's servant and you will know your identity and you will know where you are heading to. Stay tuned. The cliche in our world today is I want to make it. Who is the I? That is the question we want to ask. Who is the I who wants to make it? Society has told us that we are failures when certain things does not happen, when certain things does not add up. Are we together? And some of you right now in this place, you are, you literally, you would have been better by far if you had that sense of self-security for want of word upon the strength of who God has made you. Some gentleman looked at you and said you are not a beautiful lady and that destroyed your sense of self-worth and you started acting and doing things, even stupid things because you are trying to fit there is a cancer that is eating up young people in our world today is the pressure to belong. Have you heard such a statement? So they create mundane parameters that you must qualify to join certain groups or certain people and they are not all wrong but there are some that are so destructive. There are groups and people today that if you are a sound Christian and you love the Lord, living a responsible life as a young man and a young lady, those groups will send you away. They will say you are too innocent to be part of them. They want bad people. It's, it's like a credit. If you say you are a well-behaved person, they say no, you are too naive and you are too stupid to work with us. We need people who are prone to destruction, prone to anger, prone to rebellion. Are we together? Someone who can beat anyone once you are angry. And then they call it all kinds of names. And some of us who were once well behaved are now becoming something that we were not designed by God because of the pressure to belong. Dressing. Speaking. Social media. There are people who were dressing well until they met certain groups of people. And they told them if you keep dressing like this, you will not marry. Now that you have changed, what has happened? Say deception. deception. Yeah. The basic definition of witchcraft is to cause someone to err using the tool of deception. Hallelujah. How about young men with the value of respect and dignity and honor? But then here comes a group of very confused but arrogant people who now begin to put pressure on your identity. It has been an interesting topic. I hope you are enjoying yourself. And I know it's getting clearer to you now. Who are you is getting clearer. Your identity is getting clearer. Please continue to listen to God's servant. You will gain more. Don't go anywhere. Follow to the end of this message. Who am I is a question that I had to answer in my life. If you know who you are, you will reject the pressure from men to become anything God did not say about you. Hallelujah. For instance, I learned from this revelation that having a car and having a house is not what defines me. I'm not saying those things are wrong. But if I suddenly feel good about my life just when I have a car and a house, it's a risk. What then happens when the car spoils? Your value for yourself also drops. So if I stand in the midst of someone who has a better dressing than me, I begin to feel like a failure. By what parameter? 
who brought these parameters it's time for you to begin to probe the things that represent the epicenter of your self-worth now i'm not saying to not be challenged because there are some of us who really need to be challenged if people don't challenge you you will never leave that psychological cocoon that you are in so being challenged is a good thing for many people hallelujah yes there are people today for instance who are not earning up to say hundred thousand a month but every great hotel maybe in this city or restaurant you will find them there you are here again say yes <laughs> who is paying for this no by myself twenty thousand out of a salary of hundred thousand you didn't tithe you didn't give you didn't save you didn't do anything and then while the food is there you now take um, this thing you put take and then you send it and say look maybe God is good or to God be the glory and then the people you hope to see as always you know I'm not being sarcastic I'm probing you what you see today that you call koinonia ladies and gentlemen is not just a journey of faith alone it's a journey of patience life challenged our identity in various ways but thanks be to God for the resilience to remain when you find out what God has said about you it doesn't matter who misunderstands or do, many of us today want great organizations you want to lead ministries you want to lead businesses and someone says stupid and you are crying am I is this how I am you mean this sister just looks at me and says I'm but the question is are you stupid has the word of God ever told you you are stupid? Those who mentor and lead you, have they ever told you you are stupid? So someone who has no investment whatsoever in your life wants to come and stake, claim a stake in your mind and you give them permission, you give them entrance into your mind. Before I listen to you, I must see the contribution you have made to my destiny. You don't come as a stranger and want the seat of somebody who has made meaningful investments. Is someone learning now? So you must know how to edit opinions and throw rubbish to the, to the bin and keep moving. Someone looks at you and says, you look like you are not a powerful Christian. From you, I, I suspect that I said, this lady, you will most likely not be a great lady. Congratulations for your ignorance. Watch as you learn and ask God for forgiveness for the remaining part of your life. Because as for me, I'm evolving. Because like our people sang, the word of God is with me. The Holy Spirit is with me. God has placed models before me and a determination to succeed. No, there is no power in existence that sustains what it takes to keep you down. Are we together? I don't have the time to tell you everything the Bible says you are, but I will keep reminding you, my dear people, among the many things the Bible says about you is that you are light, you are salt. Say, I am light. Let the devil hear it say I am, salt. I am salt yes he says you are wonderfully and fearfully made yes sir he says you are the apple of his eyes if God is that vulnerable about you don't let some guy who has not made any meaning to your life he's still figuring his left from his right just comes and uses his ignorance to define you and you go back crying and begin to live a life that is outside the script of your destiny It's a privilege all the time listening to God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. What a message. What a topic today. Treating identity. What have you learned from this message? I have learned a lot. Yes. Do you know who you are now? Well, if you are still confused, I will advise that you watch this clip again, over and over. Watch it again. You know, what you do consistently becomes part of you. Go over this clip again and you will gain more insight about this topic of identity from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. Do you know who you are now? Have you been missing it? Is there anywhere, any area in your life 
that this message has touched or this message has corrected. I have learned a lot. Yes, I am going to add to what I know before now. And it will help me to channel my life to that direction I am supposed to take. Sometimes we take a different direction that is not the direction we are supposed to take. Those are the things God's servant has said on this message. I want to encourage you to share this message to your loved ones, to your families. I want to encourage you to drop your comments on the comment section. Drop your question on the comment section. Are you still confused? We will get back to you. Like this video. Share it. And don't forget to subscribe so that you will always be the first to get our latest video. God bless you. See you again.